Welcome to my house. It's Buck. Frumpy Buckle here. And we're back. We just got off of St. Croix. We got all those missions completed. And I couldn't resist this. I, ha I had to do this. Um, I know uh, we need to keep moving on with our missions. But here's the deal, guys. This new lake has come out. And I've been sitting here doing these friggin' missions. And I, I'm dying to get over there and take a look at this. I'm seeing guys post things on what they're catching over there. I'm looking at this river. It looks wonderful. And I'll tell you what. I've been over there for two hours. I haven't put a pole in the water yet. I've been there two hours. I've walked the entire map everywhere. I, I, I love this waterway. Again, it's like Quanchkin Lake. It's got everything, everything you need. It's got deep holes everywhere. Tons of deep holes. Tons of shallow holes. It's undulated everywhere. The whole bottom is undulated. Up and down. You've got sandbars all over the place. You've got steep banks with sheer rock. Um, this, I can't wait to put a pole in the water, to tell you the truth. I really can't. I, I spent two hours walking around, found some sheep found some damn camels that spit on you, by the way. I'll punch one of them right in the head and he spits on me again. Anyway, yeah, they spit on you. Well, but we'll go over there and check them out. What we're going to do with this video here, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on talking about the fish that are in here. We're going to do that in the mission videos, what we're going to do. Uh, I love this lake. We're going to, like I said, I walked it all. Um, I see what I like. I see what I don't like. And we're going to go down and we're going to jump in the boat. And I'm going to try to do this in about a 25-minute video. And show you where we want to go fishing. <laughs> and I can't wait to go fishing. So, with that being said, let's uh, let's jump over there. Let me get you that. Let me get you over here. Uh-oh, why am I blank? There it is. All righty. Okay, so what we've got here, this is the river. Um, you got four spawning joints. That's it. Now let's take a look at this thing while we're looking at it right here. This is a this is a beautiful way to look at it. Rocks, sheer cliff rocks, huge rocks. This is very high. This is very deep all along here. This is where you're, you're going to find those taman. Now we know what kind of fish we're going to get in here. We got we got a bunch of pan fish that we always catch everywhere. Well, we got some new stuff on this one, and um, I was looking at them. Um, most of them are under the 15, 10, under, under 15 pounds, so you can handle that with everything, except for the taman. Now, the taman in this river can get up, I've seen, the, I've looked at this week's records on the leaderboard, where we're looking at 132 pounds. That's, that's a big difference between a friggin' pumpkin seed or a bluegill and a taman. So, you need to have a variety of gear with you to come fish this waterway. I think I have, I'm set up for it, but we're going to do that in Mission 1 right now. We're going to jump down on this lake. I'm going to take you around here. I'm going to show you what we got to deal with, what we're going to what we're gonna have to fish with. So let's get down there to the boat dock, and we'll see what's going on here. All right, let me get out of the way here. All right. Now, as you can see, we spawned into the boat dock where your boats are, and it's not really a dock. They just dump them right out here in the water for you so we have to swim out to that one who the hell's got legs big enough to step over there i don't hell's fire i'm only five foot eight all right look at this look at this let's take a little walk here if it starts raining you can crawl under there rocks outside of rocks outside of rocks you can just tell by looking at the water. It's deep. Take a look at the map here. This is where we're at. Look at all of this. This is wonderful, guys. This this is heaven. This is heaven. Everywhere is heaven here. We're going to take a look at that. You got deep holes, sand shoals, 
you, you got these little islands up everywhere which creates multiple depths for all your fish like we've been talking about all through our series this this, this is i haven't got a, i have not put a pole in the water here yet and i've been here for two hours i have not put a pole in the water i'm just fascinated by what fishing planet did with this one i know the fishing is going to be great so let's jump in the boat and, and let's get going here. Let's take a look at what we've got here in this waterway. Can I get there yet? Yeah, I can get in there. Oh, I got to show you this. My boat's been acting up. All right, check this out. I don't know what's wrong with it. But Buck gets mad and he, and he beats on it. There we go. Start it. Come on, Buck. There, now we got her. All right. So, you looked at the map, and this is where you come in with the boat. So, we're just going to take off here. And I hope that I turned everything down low enough so that this boat doesn't drown everything out. But check it out, guys. Really, really deep. Really deep water here. Look at that. Look at it, 15... 15 feet here, sheer cliffs, that's protection for these fish, you know how we're talking, you're going to catch these taming right here, and that was taming island that we came in on, all right, just look at this, I cannot wait to put a line in the water, but I just want to run you guys through this, we're going to take a little quick tour here, and I do not suggest coming here with a big bass boat, one of the Congo boats like I have, or the... You, you bring yourself a little boat like I got right here. This is what you want for this river. You do not need a bass boat at all. Look at this, look at the stuff in the water here. Trees everywhere. These little canals right here. Now, this is not very deep here. I haven't put a bottom rod in here yet. So, I, I don't know exactly, but I can tell by looking at it that it's not as deep in this back little tributary here. Look at those rocks right there. You've got to love that. You have to love that. Look at those logs over there. Hand fish up the yin yang. You're going to catch. That's cover for every type of fish that's in this lake. River. I'm sorry. It's a river. Okay. Now, I walked this in the middle. Let me shut this down here real quick. Pull my map out again. All right. Do the R, give me the M. Now can I pull my map out? Thank you. I think I'm still going backwards. I'm probably going to end up in, in the weeds. <clears throat> However, down through this canal here, just pan fish your ass off of her, and I'm sure there's going to be some pretty big stuff in here too. It's not really that deep, but when we get out in here, you got all of this, all of this deep stuff that's sitting in this main channel all the way out through here and all these circles around here. This, not, not a bad place. All right, fuck. Let's keep moving here, buddy. All right, so this is just a little channel down there. I'll keep trying to show you the, the GPS down there, but we're going through this main, this main channel down here that's all the way out. I mean, and it, this, I know that there's going to be fish here. Look at the size of that tree there, guys. Somebody cut that off with a chainsaw, didn't he now? And like I said, you don't want to be flying around here in one of them big fancy bass boats because it's just, they're too big. You can't turn them around in a small little channel. Yes, you have a trolling motor. I understand that. It's so nice to have a trolling boat. You know what? You know what the hell you're doing. 
need to freaking control them, huh? especially in a little place like this. And then it opens up. Look at the cover around here, what we're looking at, that you can fish. And you can walk around this place. I walked for two hours everywhere. You can walk almost, well, it's the main island is what you can walk around. All right, let's, in fact, let's pull the map back out. Come on. This island right here. There's a spawn end point on here. And you can walk the entire island. All the way around. Along the shore. It's tough. But you can walk right along the shore. There's no, and there's little tiny paths that cut back and forth. You gotta be, you gotta be cautious about it and look for them. But there's weeds and stuff, and you can find a little path, and it'll cut you over to here. And then you can walk along here, and there, and you walk along this part of the shore, and there's another little trail that cuts you over to here, back and forth. So you can get on this island, this main island right here, and you can fish all of this without a boat. Every bit of this that's around this island. You can fish it all without a boat. Alright. Let's get a move on here. Let's take a look. We're going to take, if you look down there at the GPS, we're going to make a left-hand turn here now. We're going to go down this little channel here. I'll show you what's going on here. Look at the, look at the, look at the rocks. And the sunken trees. That's fish. Like I said, I haven't put. I have not put a line in the water yet here. Haven't put it. Now we're gonna get down here. This is the end of the map down here, and we'll get to see the ducks. There's ducks down here. And they'll be quacking at us. Some mallards. I got some good mallards down here. Oh, easy, Thomas. Don't run over the ducks. Come on. Learn how to use this boat. So we hit the barrier there. We can't go no for it. We can't go mess with the ducks. Oh, you gotta love that. And they did it right there. They got both male and female mallards. Pretty articulate as far as the coloring goes. If you're a duck hunter. I used to be a hunter. I don't do that no more. Since I got out of the military, I like to catch and release. That's how I do things. Uh-oh, he's got one. All right, guys. Let's start this critter up again. Come on. We'll check a little right up here. Yeah. We'll take a little run around the side here. So you can look over there at these rocks. You need to come down here. Hit those sucking trees right there. I know there's fish in there. I know it. I haven't fished it yet, but I know there is. This place over here. This is what I was telling you about. This is a little campsite. This is one of the spawning sites right here. You come here. Little campsite there, and you can get out there 
and you can spawn in there and you can walk all around that main big island and these little tributaries here go around that we're going to go the other way we're going to go around the, the adjacent island i ain't figured out yet how to walk over to that one because i can't walk through the water so i didn't make it there but before we head down through the main artery here i'm going to take you up this because i went up here and i really liked what i saw we're going to zip up here real fast if you guys get here don't do not not go down here now i don't know uh, i'm pretty sure it's going to be productive but i like i said i haven't fished this far away yet check it out right there you know you're going to have some fan fish in there and some big fish hiding in there oh don't run over shit buck you cock too much you're lucky bucky bottle ain't with you Wife, she, I never pay. Uh oh, we're gonna hit that rock. All right, let's go. Look at all this shit through here. You gotta love this. Hit that flipping stick all through here. I'm, I'm gonna fish the shit out of this. Look at that. You gotta love that. Look what we got here. Huh? Tell me there ain't some fish sticking right up through there. Hello. Like I said, there's a lot to fish here. It's going to take me days to fish this one, fellas. Days. But I'll have her down. I'll fish every inch of this freaking waterway. Got some night nice more fallen trees here. Nice big rocks right there. Look, look out, Buck. Look at all that. Nice looking there. This is all down through this outer channel. I could probably spend a whole day just floating down through here, grabbing shit left and right. Don't be in a hurry. Now, this is non productive through here, I can tell. Non productive the way the, the bank slopes down and everything. Non productive. In fact, I don't think you're going to catch anything over there in that fall downs but until you get around this bend. Now we're coming back around to the rocks. This is where the taming are going to be. I kind of figured that out already. I've been driving around here while I'm walking. I'm tired from walking, I had to go get me some beer. Now, deep holes, rocks, sheer cliffs, protection for all that shit. Yep, that's what that is. All right, now we're going to head over because we didn't do this yet. We're going to jump up here a little bit. We're going to head this way. Over here to these huts because it's uh, now you can't get on that island right over there. I tried. I tried to get my boat on there everywhere. I couldn't figure it out. It was not to get on there. All right, now here you got a lot in the water here over here. Now this is a spawning place over here. Some rocks over there. Look at this. Tell me you can't just park your boat right here and just catch fish all day long. Tell me you can't do that. Huh? Look at that. That's cover. All right. Oh, easy buck. All right, I had to show you guys this. Easy. Let's get out. All right, now, I don't know about you guys, but I like to walk around and take a look at what the hell, where I'm at, where I'm, where I'm fishing, and you never know what you're going to find, but these are the old huts. I'm going to come over here and punch one of these camels in the head because he spit on me already. Yeah. 
That's pretty cool now, isn't it? Camels. All right. Let's take a walk over here. Wait. Let's there he is. He spit on us. You gotta love that, huh? He's lucky he ain't from Pennsylvania. I whoop that camel's ass. We don't play that shit over here. No, I thought that was kind of it, but, I mean, you can walk ever. Is it, this is the closest thing to open world that I've found yet. I mean, it, th this map, you can walk a long way. A long way. There's our sheep. Don't get excited, boys. I know we got big rubber boots on. Don't get excited. Oh, I got my zoom going on here. There we go. All right. Pretty cool. Those rocks. You know, Jeremy Wade on um, River Monsters fished this river. But didn't quite have the same fish. Oh, no, you can't go up there, Buck, because there, that's the end. Let's see if we can get up here. I want to show you something over here. Now, you could actually drive down here, but uh-oh, it ain't going to let me get up there, is it? Nope. Nope. All right. We got to go over to the other side over there. All right, let's get back to the boat. All right, we're back in the boat. Let's back this thing away from the bank here. Oh, rock. We walked all the way down through here. Rocks all through here. Come through here, float everything right through here. Back out here by the big heavy rocks. And if you go up in there, See, I don't even know if we can get on shore there. We'll see if we can. Let's see if it yeah, there we go. All righty. Let's walk up the hill here. This is pretty cool up here. There's the wild horses. They're here in a couple spots. As you guys know, you know, the Mongolians were, they were very fierce military men on horseback with swords. You younger guys might not know that. I don't think they even teach that in history anymore. God almighty, don't get me going there. I'll get crazy. I mean, you know, pull a book out, stick your nose in it and learn something. Yep. They were fierce. Fierce fighters. 
All right. We're out of here. Let's get back in the boat. I just wanted to show you that one. There it is. Tumble down the hill, Buck. Alrighty, let's try to get this thing finished up in the next two or three minutes here, huh? What do you think? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna make a run here. I'm gonna not talk anymore. I'm going to show you just what we've got here. So let's go for it. Enjoy the ride, guys. anything on the right that's going to be very productive there, except for maybe that tree. Now you got your rocks here. That, that might not be too bad. But if you look at the GPS down there, we got a lot of deep poles down through here. Take her all the way around. Not the other way. A lot of good stuff through here, fellas. Yeah. 
down here. We got some more ducks. Alright guys, you know what's there. You know what you can see, do there. Alright, that's pretty much it. We've hit the lake. I don't think I missed anything. The river, I should say. I don't think I missed this. We went down this way. Yeah. Rocks up there, you know you're gonna catch fish that flies out, but oh, there's the duck, we're done. We're gonna bounce off of that one. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. This is what you got to fish. And I think it's quite a bit, actually. Alright guys, that pretty much does it. I think I've given you every shot of what's here. Selenge, Mongolia. I can't wait to get my get my lines wet. And with that, that's what we're gonna do. We got a great place to fish here. know where the boat dock is anymore. I got twisted up. We're gonna go find the boat dock. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. Right. Mongolia. Enjoy, fellas. We'll be doing some missions here. I'm about to go fishing. Time to put some water in the line. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that little <laughs> run around. I run around a little bit crazy. I know I do, but I like this game. And I like this waterway. And I'm very excited about going in here and fishing for this, some of these big guys. I want to hit me one of them tamings. 132 pounds I get up to here. So I brought some little gear. I brought some big gear. And we're going to do a mention here. I'll show you where to catch them. Give me a day. I'll find them. Remember, never give up the fight. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe, guys. You know what's happening. Follow me on Facebook. And we'll see you later.